Hey, what's up guys? This is Jedith, and I have a very special video for you today. I'm hoping this is something you haven't seen before. I know it has made an appearance on maybe a couple other people's streams, but as far as I know, this hasn't really made the rounds yet. This video doesn't have many views at all. So uh, what we're going to be looking at today is a look behind the curtain. I don't think Blizzard wants us or has meant for us to see this yet, but this is the very first raid in Dragonflight. The Vault of the Primal Incarnates. And uh, yeah, we have data mined footage of the raid. There are going to be some things that probably look a little weird. There's going to be some, you know, empty black spots. Some things are going to be untextured. And you'll just kind of have to use your imagination to fill those spots in. Um, but without further ado, let's start looking at this. Let's play the video. And this seems to be like the first room. Uh, maybe there's like the gate we come through. I'm thinking maybe in this black center part here, there's going to be maybe a big like uh, pillar of fire or something along those lines. And then we go up here. It looks like we're going to go up a ramp. It's kind of hard to see because it is dark. We're going to go up a ramp and through these cracks in the floor. And then we go up into this sort of entry room where, again, there's some more empty bla blank black space where I'm assuming there's going to be fire or, you know, some type of um, particle effect that's just not quite in there yet. And yeah, this room looks pretty big. There's some stairs on both sides. You come into the center room here, and I imagine this is where the very first boss is going to be. So if we look at the Wowhead article, the very first boss is Aranog, this guy. And I would say his aesthetic kind of matches... Uh, what we're looking at here. He would probably be in this room. I could be wrong. That's just my uh, uneducated guess. But I, I'm assuming that's where we'll fight him. And then there's three doorways that you can go down here. I'm not sure if they all lead... They seem to all lead to separate sort of wings. So we're going to go down this wing first. And you can see a lot of untextured stuff here. This is pretty interesting. There was a hole in the ground right there. I don't know if there's going to be a boss there. I think maybe this hole, we'll tab out again. This hole is going to be where we fight this guy, Taros. And I believe that because he doesn't seem to have any feet or legs or anything like that. So he would be the perfect candidate to uh, kind of, you know, be poking out of that hole. And uh, yeah, I think that's where, we're, where we'll fight that boss. We're going to go out of that room here, come back around, and go into the blue room. And now, of course, this room is all spider-esque, crystalline, um, and there is a spider boss in this raid, of course. Um, the model isn't on Wowhead, but the model is in the dungeon journal on Alpha. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely where we're going to be fighting that boss. It's interesting because these um, ramps that you can go up, they seem to be pretty narrow. This whole raid seems very small, and I can't tell if it's small just because of like the perspective right now, or if it's actually a very tight and cramped raid. Um, that would be very, very different from what we've just experienced in Sepulchre, right? So I guess we'll have to see. Um, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of untextured stuff here. We're going around the corner, back out to the main. to the left and we're going to go into this room this room seems to be more like earth elemental maybe wind because uh, there are those like floating pillars there those floating rocks and we'll go into this room and there's this like so what i'm thinking is going to happen here let's just scroll back a little bit here there's this uh grate on the ground i'm guessing there's going to be some wind coming up through this and we'll have to step on it, and the wind will shoot us up. You'll see, we're gonna go up. There we go. Up into this room where, of course, another boss is gonna be. And uh, you can tell this is up uh, from where we first were because it will pan around in a second. You'll see right underneath that purple platform is the, the red platform that we were just at with the three doorways right underneath it. 
So once we kill all those bosses, we'll come up the main hallway here, and then this doorway is blocked. Of course, this will probably unlock once you kill all the bosses. And we will be into the penultimate boss of the raid. This is where the, uh, what's it called? The Broodmaster? Let's take a look. Um, Brood, Broodkeeper Diurna. So I'm guessing that's where Broodkeeper is going to be in this last room here. Of course, Broodkeeper means there's going to be a lot of whelps. That's what these eggs kind of indicate here. Very cool. And yeah, this floor is untextured, so who knows what's going to be here. And finally, we go through the Titan Gate. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the final boss room of the first raid of Dragonflight. And man, does this look insane. This boss is going to be a dragon. Um, just initially, it, it's giving me Ashara vibes. It's giving me Lei Shen vibes. Um, yeah. Who knows what these platforms are going to be used for. But it looks like a really intriguing, really clever sort of layout. Um, I'm hoping we're going to be jumping from platform to platform. I think that would be really cool. I'm hoping there's not going to be things that will knock us off the platform i could see that being a thing and uh yeah so there you have it guys that's a sneak peek at the very first raid of dragonflight called vault of the primal incarnates what do you think let me know in the comments if you like this video give it a like subscribe to the channel don't forget i am doing a giveaway for a epic version of dragonflight all you have to do to enter that giveaway is leave a comment below on a video and make sure you're subbed to the channel with the bell notification on. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.